All right, like promised, once I got a gem, I am coming and drop it to you. So, yesterday I dropped a video on how to do a drag and drop using Microsoft PowerPoint. And I had one of my fellow educators say, do it in OneNote, I, um, and that will be able to get your background to stop moving. You guys, never ever did I think about doing that, and y'all know how I am an advocate user for OneNote when it comes to Microsoft Teams. So, I was one day on YouTube, and I seen a drag and drop activity using Google Slides, and all I did was take what they did on Google Slides and came to PowerPoint and did it, and that's how I have been doing it in my class. Yes, it has been successful. Um, yes, there have been small little flaws with probably like the background image being moved a little bit, but the students were able to actually move the words and do the drag and drop and all of that. But why have that fuss the kids sit there and say, Miss Price, the picture keeps moving. I don't want to hear that anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try to do it by setting it as a background. This will be my first time doing it, so um, I'm going to record both the student view and the teacher's view um, on how to do it. I just really um, didn't have time to try it out and just wanted to really go ahead and get this video out because I did put that video out yesterday, but if I can help people... Um, I'm going to go ahead and do it. So the first thing that you're going to do, you're going to need your worksheets. You're going to need snipping tool and you're going to need um, OneNote. So, of course, I have already, for the sake of time, I have already saved um, my worksheets and things like that. And I have already snip tooled my answer choices. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and let me rotate this around. Wrong way, huh? Back. Then rotate. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and make this image big or whatever so that the kids can be able to drag and drop the picture with no problem. So I'm going to make it bigger make it more life size all right so i have went ahead and set that as a background so you know when you set that as a background the students will not be able to move it they won't be able to do all of that i don't understand why i did not think of doing it in one note y'all this has ticked me off how i have not thought about one note and y'all know i love me some one note so next, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to post my answer choices that the kids will be dragging and dropping. And I'm just going to show y'all a quick example of how I did this. So all I did, you're going to use your snipping tool or your um, screenshot feature. And you're just going to do the little area where you're going to drag and drop it. Bam. That's all you're going to do. So I have already did all of them for the sake of time. So I'm just going to show you how I sort it on the page. So, of course, I have not did this before with OneNote. I have only did this with PowerPoint. So I'm thinking I'm going to just put, lay the pictures over here on the side and around it. So let's go ahead and post our pictures that we're going to put in there. So, I'm just going to do about a few. I'm not going to do all the picture choices. And when my things do like this, okay, so what we need to do is make sure that we're all the way on the side. So, let me go ahead and delete that. Go all the way on the side. Now, let's insert some pictures over here. All right. Now, our pictures are on the side, and what I do, I just go ahead and scroll to the bottom where the last picture will be, bring it up to the next picture, bring that up, make this picture smaller, bring it up, and this is all that I do when I do my worksheets. 
So I'm just going to do the same thing that I do for the pictures. Bring it up. I'll go to the last page, bring it up. Just so I won't have to keep scrolling down at the bottom. I just go ahead and start at the bottom and bring them up. Now this works for me. I don't know if it's going to work for everybody, but that's what works for me. So I'm just going to spread them out on the side like so, so that the students will be able to see all of the answer choices. So I'm going to go ahead and just um, put all of my pictures on the side. And I'm just going to keep it like this so I, we can see like if we had more than these five pictures, how you could have the other choices on the side. As well as you can put some choices on the uh, um, on the bottom. So of course, you will t uh, go to your OneDrive, uh, title it or whatever, and all you have to do now is go to your assignments. So once you go to your assignments on Teams, you can then assign that assignment that you did. And y'all, this is just so much better to me than. Um, actually having to do it in PowerPoint. My students, I'm just going to name this for it. My students always um, have a problem with having to open up the PowerPoint app. So this is going to be so much better because I, they love OneNote, I love OneNote. So y'all, I know this is going to actually work. So, um... We have placed it. We have students edit their own copy. You do your points, your rubric, you assign it to your class, and then bam. So now I'm going to show you the actual student view on how the student will complete the work. All right, so now we're at the student view, and we're going to view the assignment. Once we view the assignment, we're going to click My Work. All right, now the assignment is up. We're going to make it a little bit bigger. Okay, let me click over here to the side. Those arrows that are those diagonal arrows. Let's click those to make it bigger. So now we're able to actually click the picture and drag the picture to the actual category that it will go under. So this is way easier than on PowerPoint. The kids had to literally push down in order to drag it. It will either drag or it will resize, flip. Y'all, this was just so easy to do to just have the kids be able to pick it up and drop it and not have to push down and worry about it resizing so you guys this is wonderful so we're just going to go back to our microsoft teams to turn it in and voila now we're going to go back to our teacher view All right, so now, all right, so now we're back on Teams, and we're going to look at the assignment that was turned in. And you guys, it looks perfect. So we're just going to put a great job. Great there, paper, and return it. So I hope that I could have been some of assistance to someone. I will definitely, once I learn a new gym, I will quickly come and and share what I um, what I learned, you guys, because honestly, this whole virtual teaching is a teamwork, make a dream work effort. So thank you, thank you to the teacher that suggested to do this. Like, thank you so much. I mean, you saved this virtual teaching experience for me because i mean if you know me i love me someone know i love someone know so see y'all next time with a new gym for virtual teaching